Here you can see three buckets of strawberries. These planters are really mobile and you can move them around into any space, in particular into the sun when, when needed in growing season. In here I've put approximately four to five plants and as you can see now there is many many more plants ready to be divided. They've sent out runners and each one of these runners can become a new plant. So it's about time for me to separate them ahead of spring so that next year we have got many, many more plants to work with. So I've got my scissors ready, but I've also prepared some dishes of water so that as I move the new plants, which I'm going to take away from the existing main plant that I put in last year, I can put them straight into water because if you can't plant them straight away, having them in some water is going to make sure that they don't get too dry and you give yourself a little window for planting them. I've also created this new bed. This is a south facing wall just next to my house. So I'm going to be able to really see the strawberries as they ripen and make sure that they don't get too dry. And this new bed here, even though under a hedge, is going to catch lots of sun and it's right next to my water butt so that it's going to be really easy for me to come out here, keep an eye on them, weed and, and make sure that they've got everything that they need. So here you can see that I've removed one plant and this one plant has split itself into two fresh plants over the year, but it's also taken off, it's also provided one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine additional runners. So that's going to be 11 plants just from one strawberry that was put in last year. And I'll show you how I did it. So, taking one plant, separating it from the others, you'll see all the different runners that are coming off. So, all we do is we just snip it close to where the roots are forming and just place it into the water, ready to be planted. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and quite a lot of this one. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think that's all my runners. That's by lifting up. Oh no, there's more. Fourteen. So I've got fourteen runners and original plant. You can see here that it's a healthy root system. We just tease that apart. There should be two fresh plants in there as well. This one actually hasn't yet separated itself. It's still on one big root system. So I think I'm probably gonna leave that one in there until next year and see by spring if it starts to separate out a little bit more. The first one that I took out had two distinct root systems and it had fully separated itself. Taking those out to replant. And I'm just going to continue with the rest of these. I'm going to have an unbelievable amount of plants by the time I'm finished. I may not even have room with the new south facing bed that I've created to put them all in here. So I've also got lots of gifts for family, which is nice. Or I could sell them.